Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with The Rising of the Shield Hero, season 2 episode number 5 reaction. Okay, the previous episode um we uh the kind of the fight is not over. The spirit tortoise is still something left of it and uh, <clears throat> with our party like you know with our team members we try to go and find out what happened. We go on to like you know the back of the spirit turtle and uh, we get to see the like you know like the remains of the uh, village or the place you know where like you know no one's uh, alive anymore obviously since the spirit daughter is like you know woken uh like you know no one's there the, the buildings are destroyed and everything and uh, <clears throat> here we also kind of get a little bit of uh background on Risha, uh which kind of, we kind of got a little sneak peek at the trailers you know uh we get a uh, I could you could say an elaborate elaborate this uh like you know description of that whole uh part of what happened in her past you know like how she was captured and uh, how itsuki like you know saved her and why that's why she wants to repay him back all that stuff and uh, <clears throat> uh and in uh on the uh, top of the spirit tortoise there's like a temple where we get to see uh some well, like you know writing uh, like you know from our real world that is writing in japanese which means like the previous heroes came here and like you know kind of wrote how to seal the spirit tortoise or something like that they wrote i can't remember what it was but unfortunately most of it is just like you know damaged and we couldn't figure out what it was uh, and the whole thing collapsed on top of us so we don't even have any other like, you know way to get that back but uh thankfully Oz remembered what to do. She, you know, we need to go inside the spirit tortoise. And to go inside, you know, like we went through the, I guess, large intestine, <laughs> and we were on our way to get, go into the spirit tortoise. You know, inside the spirit tortoise to reach its heart. We met a few characters in the middle, and like, you know, honestly speaking, I wasn't able to actually figure out who they were at the beginning when they showed that they were actually uh, lark and uh, therese and glass i'm like wow okay i was not expecting that but um yeah let's see what happens in this episode why are they here what are they trying to do and you know like what are they going to do now after like you know they have been found out will they fight with us or will they join us we'll see but let's get started with this episode this is episode number five of the rising of the shield hero season two I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go! <clears throat> what is this? Is this like his, her inner... Yeah, but ultimately, you know, like... Yeah, uh, like I was just saying this in the previous episode, like... After this, there'll be a choice. She's getting attached to these people. She won't be. Oh my god, what the? Is this a guy who's controlling the spirit tortoise? Yeah, it's him. Oh my god. Oh, she was dreaming. <laughs> well, they would have found out either way. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so I wonder like just like how they are coming to our world. Can we go to their world? There you go, okay. 
Yeah. Wait, is that person from his world? Oh, that would that would be interesting. Yeah, okay. I'm guessing it's something like that. Like the person who's controlling the spirit daughters is someone from their world. And they're here for him. Like as I was saying, like I wonder just like how they are coming into this world. Can Naofumi also do that? If he gets to know the way to do that. Like I'm guessing this is like a two-way thing. You know, just like how they're able to come, we might also be able to go. So maybe in the future we'll actually go to their world as well. I wonder. All right, let's see. Ost Horai, okay. Probably from his world. Yeah, there you go. Glass looks so different. Oh. He's willing to Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, so yeah, we're going to team up, I'm guessing. But I don't know, I feel like Nafumi... <laughs> yep, I guess. Yeah. Hmm, so that take a neutral approach. There you go. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, like he genuinely, like, you know, what can I say? Really liked uh, Lark and Therese before in season one. So seeing that they are from the opponent, whatever. He was very, uh, kind of very rattled. Anyways. Yep. All right, so they'll have to stall. Damn. Ah. She, the queen herself is going to... Okay. Hmm. And I don't think they're lying. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying that. I'm like, what the hell is that? Hairstyle and all. 
Like, <laughs> looks so different. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Wait, they went in opposite directions. Then Oh my god. Oh wait, what? Oh my god. Wait, you know, is this why the watch has stopped? This number of souls taken by the That is the number of souls? So it's seven. No. Oh. Yeah. Okay, there it is. That's a heart. Okay. <laughs> She's conflicted. Yeah. About her duty now. Mm. Ah, oh, that's a tough choice. <laughs> Wait, where is he? Is he like... He's not from me alone now. With some like careful. I don't... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I was wondering how are we going to get out of here? Like we are going through the Okay, there you go. Going through the stomach, through the food pipe. So to go to the heart. There you go. So she, she basically kind of made another path. Which makes sense, like otherwise anatomically it wouldn't make any sense, you know, like from the digestive system to the... Wait, where's Lark and... They were here before. Did they get captured or something by this guy? All right. Okay, this guy. 
Yes, Nina. Book. Okay, book vessel weapon. So he's also another hero from from Glasses World. What the hell? He can fly. Nothing's happening. Wait. Oh. Huh. Yeah, where's his real body? Like, ha! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Did they get captured by him or something? Yeah. Oh my God! I feel like they came here. And lost or something. Ah, uh, yeah, Lark and the other two. Fake hearts. Oh, so this one is the original one, while well, those are fake. Wow. Okay. Sh yeah. Well, technically they went on opposite directions, so. Wait. <laughs> Yeah, pretty apparent. I doubt he's going to do that. Hmm. <laughs> do it in own word. Oh wow, so he just didn't want, okay. Uh. Oh my god, did he realize that she's part of the spirit total? You were the owner. Ah, great. Just disappears. Wow, the spirit daughter's heart has eyes. G great. Our self defense system. That's a weird self defense. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you know what? The damage is going to be caused within the body, so. Oh my god, yeah. This is a problem. Oh no, I feel like this is going to be a... Ah! Oh my god. Wait. Wait, is that it? Then what the hell was that guy even... 
What was the point of him being here? What? What is that? What what happened? Oh wait, did, did the Okay, so she's Yeah, so what happened? What was that little scene that we saw? Oh yeah, that's why the guy went away so easily. Oh, she remembered. Okay. That's why she said, oh, so... Oh, she's just going to make up make a path within. Okay. Okay. Oh, regenerating. Mm. Huh. Yeah. So, oh my. Yeah, so they'll need to stall this thing, this huge thing, while they defeat this thing from the inside. Like, you know, Nafumi's team. Okay, what is happening here? Let's see. What is this thing? That that symbol on it. What? Can you please explain? Oh, wait. Wait, so is she the heart? Oh my god, she's the heart. That's why the, the symbol is also on the heart and her as well. Yeah, there you go. 
Okay, so that's why he was like, oh, like you know, he looked at Ost and was like, wait, and then he quickly just went in without talking much to them. Okay, and since Ost had no recollection of who she was, she herself wasn't able to realize that she was a heart. She just thought she was a familiar. Heart or the core, whatever you call it. Like, I feel like if she remembered, she probably would have told them. She definitely would have told them that I'm the core, like, you know, kill me and... No, wait. Yo, you remember? Um, the, the first... Uh, what is, was it the first or the second episode? Either of it. I think uh, the first episode. You know, in the end... Ost comes in and she says something like you have to kill me and then she just vanishes like so I'm guessing that moment she actually remembered she was the core core but then something happened maybe maybe after that she forgot everything or something and she has been thinking that she is a familiar not the, the core of the uh, spirit tortoise I think I'm like, and I think that's probably what happened. Like, um, like in the ending of season one, uh, episode one of season two, um, Ost comes in and Ost is like, you have to kill me. And then she vanishes. Like that moment, I'm guessing she remembered what she was. And that's why she came and she just came to them. And she was like, uh, are you the heroes? Uh, you have to kill me because she, she knew she was the heart and she knew that killing her would be the easiest way to defeating the tortoise. So that's why she probably said something like that and maybe after that she forgot everything or something and she wasn't able to recall anything and now and you know and finally that we are in the uh, like, you know inside of the spirit tortoise she remembers again and uh, yeah yeah I guess that's what happened I might be wrong though but it won't surprise me if the first episode she remembered everything and that's why she came asking them to kill her okay so this uh, episode begins with um, Ost having a dilemma and I said this before in the previous episode as well like if somehow Ost uh, you know like is like you know able to defeat the spirit tortoise and you know like after uh, not spirit tortoise but the guy who's controlling the spirit tortoise if Ost and her, her crew uh, like you know Naofumi's crew is able to defeat them that person uh, the speed tortoise will go back to its original way and you know like Ost probably will have to go back to doing her fulfilling her original duty that in that is taking the souls so if a day like that happens then she is going to be very confused and she'll have to make a choice of choosing the people or choosing the world again I guess you could say for her as well it's something like that just like how Naofumi is also on a decision like you know on like the on is on the brink of making a decision uh so yeah like you know like he she she probably would have to also choose people or the world if no 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 like the she has if she chooses the world then the people will have to be sacrificed if she chooses the people then the world will be sacrificed so that would be a tough choice her original duty is protecting the world stopping the waves and to do that she needs to take the lives of these people or the souls of these people but these people have been so kind to her and you know as she was a comrade to them she fought with them side by side um they respect her so much even though she they know that she's part of the spirit tortoise like even though they know all of the, that they respect her and they uh you know like they adore her so making a choice of taking their souls or saving the uh or, or letting the world be destroyed because of the waves that will be a very tough decision which she will have to take and here again in the beginning we see her thinking about that and thinking what she should do and then we like you know uh, get back to the where we left the previous episode from 
uh, Lark, Glass and Therese, they're here and we get uh, an explanation of what they're doing here. Um, I honestly did not um, like you know think that this person would actually be from their world. Um, I thought maybe they are here to uh, defeat the spirit tortoise or to do something about them. the spirit tortoise because the wave top, uh, clock has stopped and maybe that's also affecting their world as well. I don't know. Like I thought it would be something like that, but no. It's basically this guy. This guy came from their world and is going to cause chaos in this world. And as the like you know, as Lark said that we are like you know we know that we are we are going to kill you people. We are trying to kill you people just to save our world. But the thing here is different. This guy, he's just here and causing a. Uh, chaos just because he wants to you know like there is like you know he, he's not fighting for anything or trying to protect anything it, this is just his selfish whims and you know his cruel um what do you call uh, the things that he's doing is it, it's just from the cruelty of his heart and that's why this whole situation is a lot more different than we trying to kill you cardinal heroes so that's why we are here to take him down. We don't want to fight you, you know, at, at, at least this time. So Lark says like, will you join us? Now, um, I, I thought about this and I also was, maybe I, I also kind of thought that maybe they're going to say like, oh, let's join us and defeat this guy together. Uh, but yeah, like, you know, I feel like now for me here, like the reason why now for me didn't want to team with them is so different than why he doesn't want to team with the other three heroes like here's the thing um for like you know the other three heroes now for me generally hates them you know he doesn't like them at all and he feels annoyed and this and that but because of um uh, uh the philolial queen's uh you know advice or orders you could say he's trying to like you know kind of get along well with they can get along with them um but for lark therese and glass you know like especially lark and Gla uh, therese these two and nafumi was genuinely they kind of fond of them when he met them in season one and he genuinely thought of them as comrades so like you know it's an unfortunate situation because neither of them were at fault here lark and therese also didn't realize that he was the shield hero and like you know vice versa so none of them are at fault here so after they get to know that whole situation and the circumstances surrounding them you know nafumi was genuinely upset you could say or genuinely sad getting to know that oh these people who i was fond of now will be fighting to, to the death and uh, this was the reason why he did not want to join up with them and you know like fight this guy unlike the heroes where whom they, he genuinely doesn't want to work with <laughs> while here he he didn't want to work with them because he you know like he, he he's still sad about the whole situation that yeah they will have to kill each other by the end of so he doesn't want to get more attached to them i guess you could say or something so yeah he himself says that like you know like later on we'll have to fight so i don't think we should you know join forces so lark was like yeah you're right you know like let's go then then let's take uh, like you know uh middle road here uh you do nothing to us we do nothing to you neutral we'll be neutral you know we do our job you do your job and yeah that's how we're going to do this and now from me was like all right fine then they go on their own direction now from goes on their own direction uh and okay so while this was happening on the other side uh uh the queen she was like you know, kind of checking out the spirit tortoise and everything and she came to a decision that she, like you know they will have to stall the spirit tortoise if it wakes up while nafumi ends it from within and the queen will actually participate and you know the queen being on the front lines will definitely boost the morale up so much and it'll help so okay now in the, the next scene we see Horai just uh, leading them and you know like kind of leading them sh showing them the road while uh, on the other side glass and her team they are trying to find that guy and all right 
Now for misting, they reach the R glass where there's like seven, the icon seven is written. Now, as far as I could understand, this icon, this, this seven, it means, Ost says that it shows the number of souls taken by the spirit tortoise. That means the spirit tortoise was able to take seven souls? Is that what it means? So, and then it got stopped. I'm guessing it, it the, 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 the timer paused, maybe, because the guy, you know, just started controlling the spirit tortoise. Is that the reason why the timer stopped? This part is a little bit confusing, I feel like. I, they clearly did not clear up this whole this section. Uh, all we know is that the number of souls is the thing that it's indicating. But it does feel weird, like it's written seven. I'm like, did it only take seven souls? That doesn't seem... Yeah, that, that, that definitely doesn't seem like it. So, I don't know. Like, this, this part is... I, I don't understand a little bit. But, yeah, I'm sure I'll get my answers after this. But... Now one thing we should keep in mind here is that the that is the number of souls that the spirit daughters has gathered or something like that. Um okay, here we go. It's to show how many souls have been gathered and transformed into spirit daughters power. There you go. The knowledge just came to me clearly. Okay. So yeah, that is basically the number of souls. Okay, on the other side, uh Lark, Glass, and Therese, they reach the heart. And I'm like, wait a minute, these guys reached the heart before. And then I'm like, so wait, like if they reach the heart, then where is Nafumi going? Like, they're going on a completely opposite direction. So are we lost or something? But turns out by the end of it, these hearts were actually fake, uh, while Nafumi was in the correct direction. Okay, so. Hora here kind of talks about her dilemmas, uh, talks to um, Rishi about them, you know, like about how she is going to do her duty after this, because these people, you know, she after this she wouldn't be able to take their souls because, you know, they 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 gave her the respect, uh, like you know they they, you know, like they they adore her and everything, and that's why uh, Ost was like, what should I do here? And uh, Risha cheers her up. Uh, now uh, Raftalia and Philo also comes in and tells how, like you know, since Risha, uh, not Risha, uh, Ost herself is actually being troubled by this situation. You know, thinking about what to do. Uh, that means deep down inside, you know, in her heart, she is genuinely concerned and she's genuinely a good person. Genuinely cares about everyone. And uh, yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, that was that. Now, uh, now Fumi finds a way out, and he's like, "Wait a minute, is this like the mouth or something?" Now, here, this is one thing I was I've been thinking from the previous episode. I was thinking like this is an anatomically impossible. They went in through the I'm guessing, um, uh, like you know, the the large intestine. Yeah, the the large intestine from from the you know uh large intestine to the small intestine then to the stomach most probably and then to the food pipe you know they'll be out to out of them out through the mouth so i was thinking like how is this anatomically even possible you know like how can they go to the heart it's impossible to do that unless and until uh, you know they somehow rupture the food pipe or the one of the organs and get out through there and then they might be able to reach the heart otherwise it's not possible to reach the heart to the digestive system they, they are going into the digestive system how will they go to the circulatory system it doesn't make sense so here you go here i guess uh, we see what happens uh, what i thought that's basically what Oster did she just made a hole <laughs> on the wall i'm guessing wall of the i'm guessing that was the food pipe or something and probably got out from there and then reached the heart and there you go like i guess and they at least kept this anatomically correct like even though i have no idea about this like you know our tortoises uh, anatomy I, but still i'm i'm I, I guess it's probably something similar similar to a humans so yeah anyways um so yeah they they reach the heart and here we meet this guy like what the hell is his name um Hyo etnina 
Yo, that's his name. And he is the wielder of the book. Uh, the book vassal weapon. And he, he tries to rile them up, you know, like, and just uh, when Naofumi asks him uh, that, no, he at first he says something about like, oh, you, like, you know, like, I tried to rile you up, but you're not taking that. Uh, so that means you're a lot better than the other heroes who came here, which probably means like Itsuki, Ren, and uh, Moto, uh, like, you know, yeah. Iski Ren Motoyasu, I think that was his name. Oh my god, sometimes I forget their name. Never mind. Uh, you know, those three probably came here before. And something happened, I'm guessing. I'm guessing he's probably capturing them and keeping them confined somewhere or something. <laughs> but yeah. So, like, he doesn't elaborate on that. He's like, oh, you'll find out later on. And then he talks about how uh, Lark and his team are just fighting like you know trying to destroy some fake hearts while this is the original heart and uh, now here he was asked like why are you here what why are you doing this in our world why don't you do this in your world you know whatever the hell you are doing and he's like oh like you know this is the easiest method like you know i wouldn't do that in my world you know he's like that's why i'm here like so basically what he's saying is it's probably like you know, he's probably like a wanted criminal or something in his world and I'm guessing like everyone's trying to find him out trying to track him down or something so what he did I'm guessing is basically just come to this world trying to like you know uh, run away from them and doing his evil deeds he's doing all his evil deeds here and that's basically it so he's just going into someone else's house and making a mess that's basically what he's doing you know, he's like, you know, <laughs> like in a, in a very simple way, uh, he's not able to do anything in his house trying to like, he, he's not able to mess up his own house because his mom would probably be angry. That's why he came to someone else's house, his friend's house or something and making a mess over there. That's, I guess, like, you know, in a simple manner, I guess you could explain the situation in this way. That's basically what he's doing making a mess in other people's house and uh, and then denying responsibility something like that basically he yeah he, he he's bad he's he's a bad person <laughs> so he's like all right like you know like and then he kind of sees um ost and as soon as he sees ost he just bails out as he says in the end you know he realized what the hell was happening and he was probably a little bit concerned. He was like, wait a minute, if they find out that Ost is actually the heart, then they'll kill Ost and everything will go down the drain. So that's why he quickly ran away from that situation. Just so that, you know, he doesn't have to confront Ost more in case he, she remembers everything. So she just, he just bailed out of there that moment. Like, you know, because he didn't want them to realize that Ost and the core is connected. So, Obviously, at that moment, Ol still did not have her memory. And uh, now for me, like, you know, just attacks. And I was very confused at this moment because I was like, what the hell is he even doing? He just comes here, gives a little speech and just runs away. And then, like, you know, we defeat the heart easily, just cut it off. Like, what the hell was the point of him even being here? But now it makes so much sense, you know, what he actually did. So basically, he just ran away just so that he, like, you know, just so that he could avoid the situation that Naofumi gets to realize that Ost and the core is connected. To avoid that, he runs away. Also, he knows this heart, even if this heart is killed, nothing, it wouldn't matter because the original core is inside that place. So he doesn't care, he just, like, you know, bailed out because of that. And uh, yeah, we, like, you know, defeat the heart or the core, whatever and uh, you know like it's like over like ost gets extremely like he's extremely in pain obviously makes sense she's part of the um you know, spirit tortoise and here's one thing i always wondered i was like okay you know what i understand that ost is connected to the spirit tortoise but why is the pain that the spirit tortoise is feeling is transferring to ost it doesn't make any sense if she's a familiar you know I doubt the pain the spirit daughters will be feeling is going to be transferred to Ost. 
So that is one part that kind of confused me up until now. It makes so much sense now because she's actually the core. So whatever damage the spirit tortoise is going to have, it is definitely going to get transferred to her. Because she's not just any familiar, she's a actual core of the spirit tortoise. So this makes so much sense now. And uh, okay, so then like you know after getting like you know like the, the heart almost like you know, just cutting off the heart or that that part that part of the body um ost gets into like a mild shock a coma you could say and she like you know just remembers everything remembers what she really is the tattoo kind of starts glowing and you know she realizes she's actually the core starts crying and then ost makes like a passes and she's like quick get in like you know uh, otherwise it's going to regenerate and revive so they go inside to the core while you know like that guy is just waiting there and he says that all right like and i was kind of sweating a little bit because i thought like if somehow this whole thing comes up that ost is the core if you guys realize that like you know that you, you'll just kill her and be like you know it'll be over so but thank god you didn't wasn't able you weren't able to understand up until now and uh, yeah like you know the things like you know the actual truth is host is the core and you could have avoided all of this if you just killed her and uh, that's basically it while like all of this is happening uh, the spirit tortoise is waking up the people outside you know like the queen and everyone they are going to probably try to stall the spirit tortoise while we try to defeat this guy and spirit tortoise from the inside and uh, don't know what's going to happen to ost like I'm, I'm wondering like what's what's going to happen if she tries to kill herself now you know like will the spirit tortoise die or maybe it's too late so i'm wondering i'm, I'm sure i'll get my answers in the next episode so yeah i think i think that's where it ends so yeah that's it um this villain like you know it's just a random i guess like, you know, like i i i still have no clue what the hell he's like what is his goal even did he say what his goal is i don't think he said what his actual goal is did he or did i just miss that nah he didn't say i think he didn't say what his goal is but never mind i'm sure i'll get, realize what it is in the next episode or something because yeah like he <laughs> he seems like a person who's just going to announce his goal <laughs> he's talking an awful lot you know so <laughs> i'm sure he'll he'll actually let us know what his goal is and why he's trying to do this so yeah i'm you know i'm, I'm pretty sure maybe lark knows what he's trying to do so anyways so yeah tomorrow ne ne like you know next week's episode will probably be Nafumi's team fighting this guy and trying to defeat the spirit tortoise while on the outside everyone's trying to stall it so we'll see what happens so that's it and uh, this was episode number five of the rising of the shield hero season two uh so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and uh, i'll check them out and that's it thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of the rising of the shield hero until then goodbye and have a nice day